Why do we use m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 while calculating the dilution from the stock? Basic fact is that the mass of the chemical in the stock solution needs to be conserved. In other words, the mass in stock and diluted should be same. So, mass in stock and mass in diluted. So, let 1 stand for stock and 2 for diluted. As we know, mole divided by volume is equal to molarity. Rearranging we get moles is equal to molarity into volume. Now the whole purpose of rearranging these equations henceforth would be to bring mass on the left side so that we can write equation for conservation of mass. So we are doing this rearrangement in order to get mass in this equation. Since moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass, mass is divided by molar mass is equal to m into v. So again rearranging we get mass is equal to molarity into volume into molar mass. Therefore, mass 1 is equal to m1 into v1 into molar mass 1. We will call this equation as and mass 2 is equal to m2 into v2 into molar mass 2. We will call this equation as second. By conservation of mass, mass m1 into v1 into molar mass 1 is equal to m2 into v2 into molar mass 2. But since the chemical is same in the stock as well as the diluted, molar mass is also same. So molar mass 1 is equal to molar mass 2. So nullifying the same from both sides, we get m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2. So mass in the original stock and mass in the final dilution they should match and that is why we use the formula m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 while doing these calculations.